Okay. Let's see. Ah, we need to get ask, huh? The crazy things we do for fishing. Yeah, on the phone side. Oh. The crazy things we do for fishing, huh? Yeah, now we are talking. Now this is a good spot, huh? So I came to a under bridge. This is two gram gecko pigeon with ba uh, Berkeley baby sardine, and we will try in this area. This is first time I try here. The wind is coming from this direction, and current is towards this side. And there is uh, actually heavy wind, but we are somewhat protected under the bridge. If I can show you, you can see the breeze. Uh, it's coming towards this side so casting towards this side is difficult so I will try to cast directly and we see the brake settings is uh, 3.5 let's try not bad not bad let it let it sink No, artificial bait.
Yeah, I got something. Yeah, a nice small micro lighting. This is. So since we are protected by uh, from the wind, I can cast straight easily and just play with the current. I can actually cast here four or five grams because there is high current, heavy current, but it's fine. Unless there is bait fish, we can play with it. Okay, let me show you the uh, the lure. This is our our lure. I will cast one more time. It casts very well, actually. This is Shimana Avail spool. I'm using 0.3 braid and uh, I think the Avail spool is about 4.5 gram. Compared to the stock spool, I think it makes slightly difference uh, sub 2 grams, to sub 3 grams. It casts easier, especially with this thin braid. I feel much better. But uh, I did some tests earlier, yesterday, and anything above 3 grams, 5, 6 grams lures, heavier side of the BFS, uh, the stocks pull cast much further, I think. And you will have, you can use uh, 0.6 braid, so you will have much more distance and you will have much more uh, strength on your line. Another horse mackerel. I love these little guys. We fish them uh, in Turkey a lot, in Istanbul especially. They are quite tasty fish in in the winter season, but uh, here, this is first time I'm catching these. Let me show you. It's a very nice fish and this is what the aging discipline comes from aging means actually horse mackerel uh, this is this discipline is based on fishing horse mackerel uh, it's very popular in Japan it's very popular in Turkey and best lure to catch horse mackerel is baby sardine this is Berkeley baby sardine is means it's, a, it's the uh, sardine uh, when it's first uh, spawn, it appears sim uh, in similar profile. So these little fish, these little horse mackerels, hunt sar baby sardines, and this is a resembling an imitation of a baby sardine. It also has some uh, glow color and ho also smells and attract the horse mackerel very effectively. Yes, another horse mackerel. Since I'm just releasing it and these guys are eating, allow eating fish, I will give it to them. You want this? What do you call this? Matambaka. Horse mackerel? Kawais. Kawais? We call it horse mackerel. A similar but different, slightly different. I don't know, it looks like very similar to horse mackerel. Horse mackerel has some uh, spot in the cheek, uh, but other than that, it looks very similar. As you see, no need to actually throw much. Just play at the bottom and this will attract the fish. And apparently doesn't need much action.
just stand still and play with it because uh, if you suspend your lure they will still attack it I'm just playing at the bottom just rot wash the rod tip best edge rods have uh, extra fast solid tip so you can feel every bite every single touch playing at the bottom structures and since it's extra fast you can cast far away as well okay since uh, we have decent time I want to show you how this performs under the very very ultralight <laughs> lures so this was two, two grams and last time I did the, ca the casting uh, impression video uh, if you watch it I tried 1.2 grams I think this one yes so let me put this so this is 1.2 gram okay and along with this I think it will be about 1.5 gram so it's a good lure to try how the avail spool performs in heavy wind conditions so this is the profile let's see if we can catch still so if you watch the uh, trees the wind is coming towards me so headwind actually it's quite heavy windy today it's four five pohort uh, but since we are under the bridge we are somewhat protected the brake settings is 3.5 so I will try to cast let's see okay gotta overrun Because there is a wind towards my face maybe we should slightly up the wind slightly up the brakes let's go this side let's go up to four and cast gently it goes slightly to the, to the left I will go again to 3.5 yesterday I tried casting this lure it was also very windy and anything below 3 is quite risky because it causes overrun still slightly casting towards the left so you need to time your release point so let's go to tree and try to cast gently I don't want to catch that bird that bird on in the water yeah you see slight overrun here against the wind uh, tree is a bit hard but again I, go, I will try again yeah It's okay you can still cast but against the weight it is it, a bit hard to do okay yeah more straightforward but I got an overrun so I think I'll go to 3.5 so let's go to 3.5 and try to time our release point yeah actually it casts well the problem is the overrun because of the wind it's, it's like casting towards a brick of wall yeah no overrun now 
uh, cast about five seven meters not bad but still I want to just time my release point towards this side let's try yeah much better much better so 3.5 somewhat easier to do and it's like seven eight meters from feet I think you say uh, how much is like about 20 24 feet yeah slide overrun again but yes it's fishable is actually yesterday it was much difficult to do I'll try to do an over, overhand cast. Yeah, overhand is much harder actually. Got a nasty backlash. Okay, let's try it here. 1.3 gram G cat with uh, baby sardine is about total 1.5 gram. The brake setting is 3.5. Let's do a sidearm cast. Wind is coming still towards from this direction. Yeah. Here is about easier because at least I'm casting against the side wind let's try again oh much better much better it's about 10 meters good distance okay let's go to three Yeah, just slightly towards left and some overrun is here. So against the wind still uh, maybe 3.5 is easier to cast. So I'll go back to 3.5. Oh my god, can you just feel the breeze? The wind is quite strong at the moment. It's like coming right at to me yeah despite the wind still I can cast quite efficiently yeah the release point is the key if you release your thumb slightly earlier you can cast more straight can see the wind my line is just getting pushed by the wind one more time yes straightforward and decent decent distance Yes, this time slightly over to the left because I didn't adjust my release point. Oh, this was my fault. This was my fault because I didn't release in time. Got to overrun. Not bad. It's quite good actually. 10 meters is enough for me. Uh, especially when you're fishing in a creek. 
7 meters, 8 meters, 10 meters is decent good enough and believe me I'm fishing at the moment towards a crosswind and it's difficult to perform with ultralight lures and this is 0 0.3 braid and believe me this is very thin the thinnest braid I can find for bait finance if you compare with the uh, Aldebaran stock spool I think sub 2 grams avail spool performs much better gives you slight an edge to cast in distance and accuracy but still there's a feeling of casting towards left because of the brakes are quite efficient here if you go down then you need to be very careful with the overruns uh, tree and blow it will start doing overruns and if you can time it well you can cast much further and much accurate but if you cannot time it well then it will cause some nasty backlash so safest to say 3.5 is good maybe in non-windy conditions you can go down to 3 see slightly over left you need to time your releasing point and if you compare with the Alpha Air Alpha Air stock spool actually can perform somewhat close to this but uh, dive up I don't know maybe because of the TVS system or maybe because of their different braking system it case it casts more straight it doesn't cast too much overpowering towards the left so the accuracy is much better in diver reels I think and I don't have a gecko vision but from what I see from the videos and from what I heard from my friends Gekka Vision has a better accuracy, better casting distance, better feeling, overall a better reel. Of, of course with the drag clicker, it's the best uh, aging reel in the market. And it's specifically designed for uh, 2 gram and below lures. Of course, if you go up to 5-7 grams for distance, then nothing can beat the Aldebaran. yes perfect now good releasing point straight and good distance so let's test to the limits can Shimano Niva Aldebaran with the wheel spool cast throat magnet let's see so what I have close to throat magnet I think these are if I'm not mistaken these are the GKS from Throat Magnet but uh, I will try something little uh, something lighter so the, one of the lightest one of the lightest GKS I have 0 0.8 grams this is 0 0.8 grams and I will couple with this with the same uh, baby sardine okay now totally this will be one gram so total one gram lure this is the closest thing to throat magnet and we will cast this so this is totally one gram let's see okay I will start from four yeah totally casting towards left go to 3.5 yeah much better maybe 5 meters it's not much but at least you can cast it yeah slight overrun but the spool corrected itself you can totally cast it so throat magnet is is uh, usable with the Shimano Aldebaran and a whale spool
the distance it depends on your expectations I mean of course you cannot cast a throat magnet like at 20 meters of distance somewhat you will reach about 10 meters at in ideal conditions and it should be enough you know you use this kind of lures for aging in around the ports and for throat in creeks so it should be enough it should be enough but the accuracy is the problem for the accuracy maybe you can use a better parabolic and slow taper throat this is a fast throat extra fast throat so can you you can flip it yes but not like a, a parabolic slow tapered rod let me show you you can cast like this but this is a specific rod for aging so the tip is extra fast you cannot easily flip it Yes, releasing point, you can cast straight. Yes, I'm getting better at this. 0 0.8 gram G cat with totally 1 gram lure and somewhat reaching about 7 meters. The brake settings are 3.5. Yeah. Much better, much better. So, release point early and you can cast straight forward. I'm not trying to catch a fish at the moment, just want to show you how it casts. Yeah. The more you cast, the more better you will get ah this was not good you just need to load the road properly yeah overrun because the wind started to breeze much strongly but not bad not bad You see the lure is like being splashed with the strong wind and you see the breeze even on the surface of the water. So I think this will be enough for our testing. You can cast 1.5, you can cast 1 gram lures effectively. Just the accuracy is slightly problem. The accuracy is like if you don't time your release point, uh, you will just slightly cast towards the left. So you need to time your release point like this about if you say like this is 12 o'clock if you release your point around 2 o'clock then you will be able to cast towards 12 if you release late you will cast towards 10 o'clock See I cast it towards left side if I release my thumb earlier I can cast somewhat straight okay so let's try to cast some fish so I want to show you a few extra lures I have this is Berkeley Gulp this is the same with the baby sardine just the yellow color and I think this might be more effective here so we will try this of course there are some other lures this is the exact same baby sardine glow white this is the most effective lure i think this is from berkeley again we can try this also uh, but let me check what do we have yeah there are some crabs this is isome mariku uh, crabs for the sea breams which i will not try here because this is not an area for the crabs uh, but I will try this this is very nice ticked and I will 
use this with a very nice G-Cat. So which G-Cat should we use? I want to show you a very nice G-Cat from Shimano. Let me put this back. This is Shimano Soare. I forgot its name. This this has a very weird name, but you see, it has a double assist hook, and you just put it here with the help of the spring here. Just push it, and here it is. Oh my God, it looks very nice, isn't it? Look at the tail. This is a silver ultraviolet color. So this is the perfect imitation of a baby sardine. And it suspends in the water like this. And you know, the tail will be moving and the horse mackerel will attack from the bottom. So it's so good designed. The horse mackerel will just attack from the uh, bottom and it will just get caught to these assist hooks. So let's try. Okay, this is uh, the G-Cat is 1.8 grams and totally it's about 2 grams. Still casting with 3.5. So distance is not a problem. I can cast straight. It's much easier to cast. And let's play with it. Let's see if we can get a bite. Yeah, got it. Yes. See how it cuts. Yes. See, it just cut by the assist hooks in the belly. Let's cast again. Cast very well, straight forward. But the fish is right in front of my feet anyway. Play along the edge. I'm trying to be careful because the bottom is quite snaggy lot of structures yeah got it ah yeah got a good bite but couldn't time the hook set yes see yellow works much better because it's a dark murky water come over here see how it got caught from from the assist hook yes so uh, as I said earlier this new color of Berkeley sardine works very efficiently especially in aging in uh, murky dark waters this is just like magnet. Let me show you. Just release down here and play at the bottom. I got it. <laughs> this is crazy, crazy. This color is just crazy. Did you see how it just smashed it? It's This is very small, so I will release it. So we found our color, I think. One more time. Just release it here. Just play with it. 
Yeah, I got it. <laughs> it's crazy. So the, I think we found our color. I got a bite. Come on. I think they are getting smarter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's play again. Yeah, got one, another one. It's such fun to play with them. Just release to the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Aging is incredibly fun. Especially when you have lots of action. Come on. And they are, you know, attacking incredibly. Just some shy bites. But if they are if they come from below, they got they got caught by the assist hooks. Yes, this time a better one. Yeah, good size. <laughs> See how it splashed the water. Yeah, got another one. Yeah. Oh my god, look how tiny it is! Look how tiny it is! This is so... Look how tiny it is! It is incredible! It is incredible! This is incredible! Oh, I don't know... I can release this... Look at this! Oh my god, this is like a small surgery. Ah, come on. Okay, go. Yeah, yeah, it's going, going. It's fine.
Yeah, got another one. This is like jackpot. This lure works so well. Yes, go. Small one. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to let it go? Oh my god. It's just baby. Oh, it got hooked pretty badly. I don't know. It got hooked from the side of the eye. Uh, don't, I don't think this will leave. But let's see. somewhat swimming I hope it yeah it's going to the deep but I don't know it pretty got badly hooked from the eye Testing a uh, 8 gram jig within limits of my rod and it almost reached at the other side. Okay, one last time I want to show you some different lures I have. These little three fellas, these are Jackson Mijinko and which color should we use today these are 2.5 grams but these also have 1.8 gram versions same size just different uh, weight so we will try with jackson mijinko this is 2.5 gram similar uh, double assist hooks at the belly let's try and see if we can catch horse mackerel with this one again Guess over here yeah got our first ow 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 mackerel horse mackerel with the mijinko so it definitely works but I think the soft bait works much better Get this beauty. Nice one. I think the winner of today is definitely this color yellow color. Uh, this is a glow and UV color of Berg de Sardine and it works perfect with the Shimano Soare Jiket. Yes, I tried some jigs, I tried Jackson Mijinko, I tried uh, the white color of baby sardine but the best combination for aging at the moment, I think, uh, is this color, this yellow color, especially in dark, dark waters, dark, murky, yellowish waters. This is the best. This is the best color, guys. For aging, I strongly advise to use this one. And my friend in Turkey, in Istanbul, also has the best scores with this color 
another one see how it effectively catches fish if you if you are into aging if you want to experience this kind of fishing this is very fun and this is the best setup you can achieve actually oh this got very bad yeah yeah got one very small very small oh my god this is getting out of hand where did it go? my god <sighs> alive and well They're biting, you know. See, it always catch by the mouth. <laughs> Crazy last fish of today look how he's fighting yeah come on This is the least of track. Yeah. I think he's, he's tired. Let's take him out. You fought well. Yeah, I think this is the biggest fish of the day. You fought very well. Let's release this guy. You got hooked pretty badly too. Yes. Yeah. Look at this beauty. Go. Yeah. I think it was a very nice day, very effective day for aging. It has been a quite a lot of quite a long time. I haven't done aging and believe me, finding horse mackerel is very difficult in Dubai. I think certain amount of uh, year, certain certain period of the year, these guys come here to get made and produ produce. Uh, but most of the time I don't see them and yani this is the first time I catch maybe they have specific spots for them I don't know but it was a very nice day for me because I like aging I like horse mackerel fishing uh, this is like a large large part of our fishing in Turkey in Istanbul most of the year we only catch horse mackerel and we love light rock fishing for this season and the winner of today yellow color baby berkeley berkeley baby sardine with the shimana sour aging jacket look at the amazing assistics this lure this jacket is quite hard to get most of the time you will not be able to get uh, in stocks I don't know what's this. Yeah. 
Anyway. So let's make a quick summary of today. As you might have noticed, I am wearing a scrubs because uh, I'm a doctor and this is my post uh, night shift. Uh, I might look a bit tired, but uh, I like fishing and uh, day off, I go fishing if I can. Today, I tried to test the new Shimano Ivale spool and it was actually a very decent day for fishing. I got a lot of horse macros, so I tested 3, 2 and sub 2 gram lures, 1.5, 1 gram jig heads and the avail spool performed very well. If you have the new Aldebaran, you can definitely get use of the avail spool for casting sub 2 gram lures. It will help you cast a bit more distant and it will also improve your casting accuracy. But still, I feel there is a problem of Shimano reels for uh, casting low uh, light rules, you have some casting towards left or uh, breaking problem. This was the same I think with the old Aldebaran and even if you couple with the avail spool you still have this casting towards left problem. To manage with this, to deal with this, you need to time your releasing point slightly early. If you can release your thumb slightly early in the uh, right trajection you will be able to cast more straightforward. If you compare this with the diver reels Alphas Ear TW or Gekka Vision uh, they are more friendly reels actually you can don't have this uh, casting accuracy problem you will you can cast right or left without any problem of uh, release points and they are a bit easier to cast sub 2 gram lures. Even in a stock spool of Alphas Air, I was able to cast 1.5 1 gram lures without much problem of uh, accuracy. But if you compare with the Shimano reels, Shimano always has an edge of casting long distance. Especially above 3 gram lures, Shimano has still the edge of long casting distance. Daiwa cannot outperform Shimano if you are using 5, 7 gram or higher rated lures. Shimano has the best long casting distance. What Daiwa reels excel is sub 2 gram lures, Alpha Sear TW and Gekka Vision ca cast much easier and much friendly, much accurately. Doesn't have this problem of casting towards the left. Doesn't, you don't need to time your casting release point a bit earlier. Shimano Old Aldebaran or New Aldebaran still has this problem. I think this is related to the FTB braking system because this braking system needs slightly more powerful momentum. So you need to cast a bit more powerfully and cast a bit more momentum to reach the distance and to cast accurately straight forward. Daiwa cast much easier. You can just cast right or left without any accuracy problem. So Daiwa is a easier friendly reel for beginners. If you are a new BFS angler, you can start with Alpha Sear TW or you can just get the Gekka Vision because it has the drag clicker and it is salt water uh, approved reel. If you don't have either reels, you can just start with an AliExpress reel and get a lighter spool but for all the BFS anglers I just suggest to get a Shimano or a Daiwa because eventually you will uh, plan to get these reels so why not just waste time just get a Shimano or Daiwa Alpha Sayer TW I think still is the best option in price point but if you are a guy who will go for the ultimate reel, Gekka Vision is the way to go for sub 2 gram lures. This is, what, this is what I feel, this is what I see in the testing videos and this is what I heard from experienced BFS anglers who are using trout magnets or 1 gram lures because it's, it casts more accurately and it gives you more options. If you have the old Aldebaran, just get an avail spool, be done with it. You don't need the new Aldebaran. There's just, just a slight difference with the stock spool. Yes, the new one 
the new Aldebaran performs much better with the stock spool and if you don't use sub 2 gram lures doesn't make any difference old Aldebaran, new Aldebaran, Alpha Sayur TW or Gekka Vision they are all great reels just choose whichever suits you well it's in the end a style of preference and it's all depend on your budget as well if you have a budget you can just go with the Gekka Vision or you can just get a Shimano with the avail spool and if you want to go a bit more budget friendly Alpha Sayur TW is the way to go just bear in mind Alpha Sayur TW doesn't have a drag clicker and you have to uh, install it after market and it might cost you depending on 50 to 80, 80 uh, dollars okay today was a very pleasant day I was able to fish and catch some horse mackerel and we call it aging and I like this style of fishing very well and I'm very familiar with it because in Turkey we fish a lot and we do a lot of night fishing for aging it's a very very enjoyable type of fishing I strongly advise anyone who if you have horse mackerels in your territory go with aging get sub 2 gram lures 1 1.5 gram lures especially Isoma Maruku, Berkeley Sardine perfect perfect lures especially the yellow color oh my god it was amazing today and the Shimano Sore aging she gets it was a great setup so if you can find it you can get it from Amazon Japan and just use it and you can actually catch a lot of fish even in fresh water so next time I try to focus on more bait casting and shore jigging videos and we plan to go for offshore offshore jigging if you want to see any offshore videos please subscribe to my channel we'll try to catch some king mackerel some large giant barracudas and groupers so stay tuned for more content and please like and subscribe support my channel see ya